Hey everyone, welcome to AuthorStrong.com where we give authors the tools they need to succeed. Today I'm going to do a quick video to show you how I organize my books with inside of Scrivener uh, and, and the way I set them up just before I, I'm actually done and ready to publish them, ready to create the finalized uh, ebooks or even even the create space books for print uh, so there's I've had a couple of people ask me how to do this it's really easy I like to be organized as you can see right here in the binder and uh, I'm gonna take you step by step show you how I get here and, and kind of some of my thinking that goes into it all right let's go ahead and get into it all right so here we are we've got our draft folder with the various scenes that we've written if you'll remember from my my coloring video that I did, you'll know that these this pink means that it's uh or this this purple means that it's uh, a final draft, and uh, so a little over here final copy, and so that means it's already been proofread, it's done, I'm done writing it, everything's fine here. So my next the next step in my process is I need to make this look a little bit more like an actual book. And the next step in the writing process that I take is to then split these scenes into chapters. Now, I'm not going to go in advance on how I choose where to split chapters because I do that. Actually, it's one of the very last things I do in my writing process to, to handle pacing of a novel. But how I do it in Scrivener, once I've decided, let's say I've already got these scenes broken in and, and they're going to represent different chapters. For ease of explaining this, I'm just going to say each scene is its own chapter. Uh, and that's not how I always write a novel. You know, some novels, a chapter will have multiple scenes or a chapter will be one scene. It, it really depends. But uh, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these into folders. And these folders are going to represent the different chapters. So to create a folder, you can use a couple options. As always, we can go to Project, New Folder, right there. Or you can click this little down arrow on the plus button and add a new folder there. Or we can do my preferred method, which is the shortcut key, which is Command, Option, N. And that'll create a new folder. So this folder, I'm just going to name chapter. Now, to reorganize things in the binder, you can always just drag and drop, right? That's that's a quick way to do it. Now, there's going to be some other commands that I do that are a lot faster than that, and I'll give it to you here in a minute. But for now, let's uh, let's go ahead and create another chapter, right? So there's chapter again. I'm going to hit the wrong buttons, of course, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy paste that chapter to make my life a little bit easier. So now to, to move this around, uh, like I said, you can drag and drop, or you can use uh, you can use Control, Command, and then the arrow keys, and that will move it around in the binder. Uh, so if I go com Control, Command, Up, that's going to move it up the binder like that. And what's going to make this easier, and right and left will then take it within another layer or outside of another layer. What I mean is, so the scene, to move it into the chapter folder, this chapter folder right here, all I'm going to do is hit Command, Control, Right, and that'll put it in there. Okay? And then I can control that or close it by just hitting the uh, the left arrow whenever it's over it. So right arrow will open, left arrow will close. So what I can do then is just, again, move that over and then close it like that. Okay? You can highlight by holding Shift Up and then the right key to open multiple and left key to close. Very, very simple. All right, so now let's go ahead and create a, a few other a few other chapters. We're gonna quickly just move these in there like that, and then we are done. So now what we have is we've got each of our scenes buried within a chapter. Now, if you wanted to give yourself chapter titles whenever you actually compile it, and I'll, I'm gonna do other videos on on compiling details. You could instead of chapter, you could put um, you could put like a a chapter title here. Um, you could put chapter one if you want to put one. You don't have to. There's ways to handle that in the compiling. For now, whenever I write, I just put chapter and I put scenes inside of chapters. And that's it. The only other thing that I will do, let's go ahead and close those, is I will then take all of these and instead of just being in the top level draft folder, I'll create a new folder. We're going to call this book one. Or you could put the title of your book or whatever the case is. And I just move all of those into that. What this will then allow me to do is I can create a new folder called uh, series title, right? Or whatever the, you know, it would be whatever the title of your series is. I move this outside of the draft folder. So right now it's not in the draft folder. I can even move it below the research folder just so you see that. But what this will allow me to do is 
whenever I'm ready, I can take this and I can just move it down, put it inside there. And then when I'm ready, I can start writing book two. Okay. And so there will be book one and that will allow me to just keep everything in the same folder. Really simple. I can give this a different icon. I'll go more into detail on these different things in the future, but you can give these different icons by right clicking. Uh, and we can just take this down to, uh, I don't know, we can put the, uh, the blackboard on it or something. You can give it whatever kind of icon you want just to change it up. And then book one instead of that could be, could be, you know, a red book here to say it's done. And then this one, because we're working on it, we'll call this a blue book, right? This is not done yet. Little things like that, how you can uh, use Scrivener to organize uh, both your folders and then, or sorry, your, your individual books, and then also your series. That's it. I hope that you found this to be helpful. As always, if you found this tutorial to be helpful, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button on YouTube and then leave us a comment. Let us know if there's any other videos you'd like to see made or anything else regarding publishing or writing that you'd like to know a little bit more about. We'll go ahead and get a video put together for you on that. Also, head over to our website, authorstrong.com and sign up for the newsletter. We've got a lot of new exciting stuff coming out. Uh, I've got some big announcements coming up here in the very near future. You don't wanna miss out on those, I promise. Sign up for that newsletter. You're going to be able to stay up to date with us and, and all the cool things we've got going on. Thanks. Have a great day.